Hey all, Will Healy here, and on this Workforce Wednesday, Andrew Crow rightfully called us all out. Manufacturers are pretty radio silent during Black History Month. And then we complain of workforce shortages and not being able to find people to work in our plants. But by manufacturing not openly celebrating diversity, we are alienating 48% of our potential workforce talent pool. This is a pool that's already quite empty to begin with, right? So when important segments of the workforce are underrepresented, our talent pipeline problems are just compounded. In the manufacturing workforce, according to the 2021 uh, Bureau of Labor and Statistics data, women make up 29.2% of the manufacturing workforce, but in some sectors, it's as little as 11.5%. Black or African Americans make up only 10.3%, Asians 7.1%, and Hispanic Latinos 17.4%. Women's, minorities, and Generation Z, they need to see themselves represented in our leadership teams and see diversity at all levels in our companies so that we can attract them to our companies and retain them long term. As leaders of organizations, we, you and I, must lift up those around us and make sure they're heard. I admit what I'm asking is hard. I really do. Uh, I still mansplain too much. Am I mansplaining right now? I might be. And I get excited about an idea and I talk over people when I, I really don't mean to. But I'm trying to change this and I'm trying to do better and I'm trying to listen more. I'm trying to lift up others and ask the opinions of those around me that get talked over. And I have learned so much from this change over the last few years. I'm a better employee, a better colleague, a better friend by doing this. So as we look around our organizations, as we hire, as we recruit, we must work to bring diversity of ideas, diversity of backgrounds, diversity of cultures, gender diversity, racial diversity into our teams. Deloitte has a powerful study that shows when we bring diversity into our organizations, we are more strategic, more innovative, and we are better performing manufacturers than our competitors that don't do this. So here's my question for you today. I advise several manufacturing conferences and trade shows, and I, I provide panelist ideas and presenters and people to know, but I'm realizing my network isn't as diverse as I'd like it to be, and I'd really like to fix that. So, who should we be celebrating out there in manufacturing? Who is a manufacturing community should we be celebrating? New, new people to the industry or experienced people in the industry? Who's inspired you at your work in your company or your customers or your vendors? Who's inspired you? Who are those rising stars that you think we need to lift up together and that we need to get in front of more people? Who do we need to help to get more visibility? Of course, that, that want more visibility, of course. And do you know someone who should be seen as an expert right now, but is unseen? Please tag those people in the comments so we can connect with them and work to lift them up together. Happy Black History Month, and thanks to Andrew Crow for calling manufacturing out. We only get better if we spotlight our problems. Until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?